In the 1950 patent case Graver Tank v. Lind Air Products, the United States Supreme Court explained how the doctrine of equivalence could work to find patent infringement, even if a device doesn't literally infringe on a patent. Half a century later, the court considered whether the doctrine of equivalence still had a role to play in Warner Jenkinson Company v. Hilton Davis Chemical Company. Warner Jenkinson and Hilton Davis both manufactured dyes. Hilton Davis patented a dye purification process that it called ultrafiltration, which used a porous membrane in varying pressures and pH levels to filter out impurities. An amendment to the patent added to distinguish Hilton Davis's patent from another patent for ultrafiltration specified a pH range from approximately 6.0 to 9.0. Around the same time, Warner Jenkinson developed its own slightly different ultrafiltration process. It learned about Hilton Davis's patent after it had begun using this process commercially. Hilton Davis sued Warner Jenkinson for patent infringement. It admitted that there were some slight differences in the pH ranges used in the two different ultrafiltration processes and thus no literal infringement, but argued that Warner Jenkinson had infringed under the doctrine of equivalence. Warner Jenkinson countered that the doctrine of equivalence no longer existed due to changes in federal patent law after Graver Tank. The district court found infringement. The Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit affirmed, albeit in a seriously fractured opinion in which five of 12 judges dissented on how to apply the doctrine of equivalence. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.